times you can't explain so god is aware of the now are we here you imagine you wake up in the morning and want to come to church so happy to leave your house to come to church on the way you became so troubled the road made you so troubled okay but the truth is that whom actually brought you to the church he made a way for you i will hear in all situations and circumstances of life in all challenges of times and season victory belongs to god are we here the lord has the victory we sing the song he makes a win. come on he your mind is not yet back get out of that pressure zone come into the grace zone you are saved by grace through faith whatsoever looks like an end now around you by this week it shall give back to testimonies Remember when the prophetic and healing Sunday by the grace of God you are not returning from this meeting the way you came. Amen. You are standing here today because you have life in your body. You are standing here today because he made a way for you. You did not turn back home. And you will never turn back home in your journey to seek the Lord. Whatsoever well, journey you will begin in 2023, no power shall frustrate you to turn back. 
everything you are had will begin in 2023 by the unctions of the Holy Ghost whatsoever your hand will start in 2023 by the grace of God you are hard to analyze it I will say here lift up your hands to heaven tell the Lord Lord I believe and because I believe your name is Jehovah. Your name is faithful. And whatever you say you will do, you will do. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Come on, look at the altar and say to yourself, There is God. Come on, shout it again. And because there is God, I am a believer. I believe in the possibilities of the impossibilities. If a virgin get part, all things are possible for me. Why are you so singing a song? All things are working for my good. Okay, you can go. Thank you. You guys can go back. Thank you. Never failing. All things are working for my good. It's intentional. There's a level we want to go this morning, someone. So oh. I don't have to worry because he's working for me. He's working for me. Che, 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 I believe he's working for me. Oh. See all things, all things are working for my good. Come on, why I cannot get to stand on our It's intentional. Come on, it is intentional. It's never failing. Yeah, it's never failing. All things are working for my good. Cause he's intentional. He's intentional. And it's never failing. Never For my good. Every one of you stand on your feet. It's intentional. And it's never failing. Never failing. I don't have to worry, say. I don't have to worry, cause he's working for me. He's working for me. He's working for me. I don't have to worry, say. I don't have to worry, cause he's working for me. He's working for me. He's working for me. I believe he's working for me Cause he's intentional 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 He's intentional. He's intentional. He's intentional. He's intentional. Hey. Never failing. Woo. Shout out, Maria. It's working for me. Yeah. Let me tell you a story. You know, when I say stand up. You know I'm an agent of God. The only thing you will do for yourself is just to obey me. Even if you can't walk, you just stand up. Okay, when I say sit down, you sit down. There was a king that God asked to bless his people. Seven of his people. You know, it is not people that think they are qualified to be blessed that can be blessed in the plans of God. 
Otherwise, Joseph and Mary wouldn't have counted. There are some things God check out in everyone's life. That is your mindset, your attitude. Everybody come to church, but not everybody can be reached. And the king called the leaders of the community, and all of them gathered. And he took the blessings in dollars, in envelope. Seven of them were in his, in his hand. And he was passing line by line, line by line. And he gave it to the seven people to call the long story short. And one of the guests they invited asked him, what was the basis of your assessment? He said, I watched them when they were dancing. Those that dance from their heart were the ones that are qualified for the king's blessing. Those that dance so that the king will just be happy that they danced doesn't deserve the king's blessing. That king is God. When we come to church and we call prayer, everybody pray the prayer. It is those that pray from their heart that God will reach. But I say to you today, before the end of this meeting, the Lord will touch your heart. Yeah. Did I hear a living amen? Whatsoever I disqualify you from the king's blessing, grace of God will set it aside. Amen. You shall be qualified for the king's blessing. Amen. And you shall go from this meeting with the king's blessings. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. Amen. 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 Now, before you sit down, I'd like you to praise a prayer. This morning I was describing God as a consuming fire, as the origin, and as a heat producer. Do I have a witness in the house? And I said that I asked God to visit that family as a boiling pot and boil every fountain of infirmity in the family. And a few minutes later, God visited that family and everything turned. But that's not a prayer for you this morning. The prayer for you this morning is that God should show himself in your life as a consuming fire. And consume everything he had not deposited in your body. Consume everything he had not deposited in your life. Consume everything. He has not appointed for your life. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your right hand. Shout, Lord, I am a believer. Lord, I am a believer. Shout it again. Lord, I am a believer. Shout it at all time. Lord, I am a believer. Therefore, visit me this morning as my consuming fire. Consume every deposit of infirmity. Consume every sickness in my body. Consume every problem in my house. That you have not appointed. Can you open your mouth and pray? Can you pray like an army? Can you pray like a warrior? Lord, I know you are a consuming fire. I know you are a consuming fire. I know you are a consuming fire. Lord, arrive. Visit my house. Visit my home. Visit my marriage. They said my life as a consuming fire. 
Lord, from my head to my toe, arise and show forth as a consuming fire. A bright thunder to have not planted in my body, in my life, in my whole. Lord, verse as a consuming fire. I shall lack a pataya, a rakapa to saka, a lagada katala, a rania katalagada, a pakapa sotaya. Visit my life, visit my business, visit my mara, visit my body, visit my blood, visit my ball. I say, consume fire. In Jesus mighty day we pray during the 14 days one of us had an experience we're praying here one of the evening and she had had growth somewhere around her neck she couldn't even tell it to anyone and then we came before this altar to be anointed she got anointed so when she got to her seat, she placed her hand on her head, took the oil, and said, I connect my faith to, my, to the faith of my father and the Lord. This growth, I don't know what, where you are coming from. I don't know what your plans and intentions are. As I lay this oil upon you, disappear. She did it in the church, and she forgot. She got up, then went to the bathroom, took her bath. She didn't remember. It been giving her concern over time. It was now when she was rubbing cream, she remembered. She looked for the growth. She couldn't see it. And she remembered how she acted in faith overnight. I want, we were all in church together, many of us here. But sometimes you don't apply faith to everything that happens. Praise God. You see, today is going to be an anointing service. And I am sent to Lord to visit you like a consuming fire. Amen. Are we here? Anything you don't know is origin. God melting fire will locate it. And by the grace of God this week, you will look for your problem and you will not see it. You will look for your experiences and you will not see them. The Lord is rising up for someone here. And the hand of God shall reach out to your life. In the name of Jesus. One of the things I also believe is that God told me several things this year. And among them is that it's a year of the righteous. Are we here? He had told me that it's a year of war, crisis, problems. But he has said, I have placed an exemption. Touch not the oil and the wine. And that is why we've been anointing and anointing and anointing because god spoke about oil and the oil by faith is the anointing that breaks the yoke praise god and he said touch not the oil and the wine the oil are the vessels of god they will be exempted from the judgment of god when god judged sodom and gomorrah he spared lot because of abraham for your sake you and your family shall be spared I, I want to beg my young ones, my brothers and sisters in the faith, 2023 will not be like every other year. It will be a different year. So if you want to serve God and survive, please serve God. Serve God. It's not going to be a time of just coming to church and walk around and just talk with people and nothing matters to you. If nothing matters to you this year, when it happens, don't, you won't even remember my phone. You will not have the confidence to call my phone. But we will not get to that point. 
and that's the children that god are given unto me we are for signs and for wonders in the land of the living lift up your hands i proclaim revelation 6 and verse 6c upon your life and i release an anointing of divine exemption upon your life receive anointing or touch not anointing or hand not i release the blood of jesus upon your life upon your home upon your marriage upon your health upon your family in the name of jesus everything the word of god can do for the people of god your family shall count your life shall count the impossible impossibilities in your life today shall become a testimony by the grace of god blessed be the name of the lord in jesus mighty name we pray you may be seated briefly be seated briefly now i i like to present to you a few things that will help you this year there are three things i know i called you here to bless you but there are three things that will be present in your life take your bible take your pen take your bible take your pen one of the greatest gifts of god in all of the bible and in all of god's plan is what they call the spirit of the fear of god what do i call it please take note of what i'm saying to you today god does not do much nor bother himself with men and women who lack what is called the spirit of the fear of god the second thing i know is that when god sees men and women that have what we call the spirit of the fear of god he can go extra mile to fight their battle are we here now the spirit of the fear of god is one of the fruits of the spirit one of the nine fruits of the spirit so it is a character of god okay and then it's supposed to be a character of the people of god the fear of god the bible say to depart from evil is the beginning of the fear of god to depart from evil it also means to depart from ungodliness to depart from ungodliness to withdraw from corruptive association is the fear the beginning of the fear of god I remember a few Wednesdays ago, reading Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10, I, I told you in this house, I said, the Bible says, my son, when sinners entice you, do what? Consent there not. Consent there not. It's not a sin to say no to what your conscience says is wrong. Are we here? I remember a young girl looking for a job and they met this man who was well positioned who was old enough to be the father and they pleaded with the man can you please give me this job i'm qualified for the job god will bless you my father and my mother will pray for you say well there's no doubt that you qualify but you have to pay my price he reminded this girl 
I must sleep with you before I can give you the job. Now, if you are in the position of that girl because you are desperate for the job, will you allow the man to sleep with you? Sometime at the beat of desperation, you will just say, see, not just once. But that can be the end of all God's plan for your life. The man could have sickness. Is that correct? The man could be in court just looking for something from you to renew his life. The man might kill you when he asks you to come and meet him. And the lady says, I have made a vow with my body that no man shall have a knowledge of me except my husband on my wedding day sir i am looking for job and that's this my problem if you are in a position to give it to me give it to me if you cannot give it to me no no problem and they left the man said you can't have it five years later the man was looking for a contract to sustain his company and he entered into an organization to apply and the director to manage the contract was a lady and the lady received the letter and her spirit connected to that field this was the man that wanted to destroy me and they sent for the man to come the man came he said do you remember me he said no I've never met you. Say you've met me. You remember so so time, so so time. I was the lady. You refused a job because I refused you access to my body. The man knelt down. Started begging the lady. The lady said, No problem. If you are qualified for this job, you will have it. You are five contractors. Unfortunately, the man did not qualify. You see, when you have a wrong mindset, you can't go too far. Even when you appear qualified, God can disqualify you. I got to know about that story. Whatever you do today, because a seed tomorrow. Are we here? He that knows how to do good and refuse to do it when it's within his power. The Bible said to him, it is a sin. When God has given you knowledge, and you refuse to act on the knowledge, to you it shall become foolishness. Joseph was abused by his family. Joseph was attacked by his family after a while he was persecuted by his um, boss's wife before he knew it he found himself in the prison joseph why he had a dream where he became a solution to his family and to his world and the devil saw that joseph was going to be a solution to his family and the devil began to pursue after joseph the joseph was in deep fellowship with god the persecution couldn't stop him from praying the trial couldn't stop him from doing good he was not causing anyone because things were rough for him are we here he was still calling potiphar's wife my madame come on are we here my what he was still calling potiphar my master the fear of god helps you to remain who you are in the face of all trials of life do i have a witness nothing is allowed to change your content or your value young man sit down sit down now and take your pen Praise God. The Bible says, at the end of the day, 
all those that persecuted Joseph, including Potiphar, including Potiphar's wife, are we here? Came under his authority. And the brothers came, say, Act honestly, we intended it for evil. But now that our father had died, please forgive us. If you were Joseph, what would you do? Would you pay back? Naturally, they will be attempt to pay back. It's my turn. Now that it's my turn, I will show you. But look at what Joseph said. You intended it for evil. But God turned it around for my good. So that I can be who I am today. Men that is riding and driving their destiny by the spirit of God are unstoppable. Go and hire the wars of Babala war to attack them. You will not succeed. Call their name, get naked in the night to bring them down. Everything you do will backfire. Come on, are we here? The Bible says in Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon passion against the righteous shall stand nor prosper. Come on, are we here? And he told them, you have nothing to worry. It is too late for me to stop, to stop being who I am. Praise God. I fear God. Come on, someone shout, I fear God. Do me and do you is not Christianity. Do me and do you is stupidity. And an expression of loss of identity. If you don't know who you are, you can behave and live like every other person. But if you know who you are, you will be able to know things that you have overcome. How many of you still believe that the, he that is in me is greater than death that are in the world? Come on, someone shout, I fear God. Men and women that fear God don't take vengeance. You know why? Romans chapter 12 know that the Bible says that vengeance belongs to our God. Do you believe that vengeance belongs to God? I pity the enemy that will rise up against you this year. Come on, are we here? When God will start fighting your battle, every altar and every place where you have been discussed and where agents have been hired against you shall be confused. I traveled to my hometown years back with one of my son and the Lord. In the night, we prayed for about two hours in my house. And in the morning, we entered my car. I was using Karina too. And we're driving out from my village. We just returned from mission from Abba. And just in front after the primary school was an old woman on rapper, nothing. And the whole town gathered there and they were asking her, Who are you? She doesn't live in that town. Who are you? She said, She's a social person that lives in Ogashoku that he went to Panam. The motor dropped her by 2 a.m. As at 2 a.m., we are taking authority over the air. Praise God. So she couldn't fly over my heaven. You need permit to fly over the heavens of nations. When God has made you a nation, there's something that cannot cross your heavens. Come on, are we here? When you know God as an east wind, as a west wind, there are some things that cannot cross over your heavens. She was crossing over and then she couldn't fly. It dropped and turned to human being. Who know you in this town? Nobody. She dropped. The angry mob wanted to kill her. The Lord told me, this case is not your case. Drive out. I left it. But I know what that means. They are still witches. They still operate. Are we here? Guide yourself with the fear of God. Guide yourself with the spirit of the fear of God. When you fear God, witches will fear you. Psalm 27 and verse 2. When the wicked, even my enemy and my foes, gather together to eat up my flesh, what will happen? 
they will stumble and they will fall. Are we here? Psalm uh, Proverbs 18 verse 10. For the name of the Lord. Do I have a Bible student in the house? It's what? Shouted like an army. The righteous. And he said. If you want to be saved in 2023. And come under the anointing of safety. And the joy the Lord. Proverbs 16 verse 7 said. When a man. When a man pleases the Lord, God will make his enemies to be at peace. Okay? And, and the Bible says in, in, in Exodus 23 verse 27, and he will make your name a terror to your enemies. He make your name a terror. When your name is mentioned, God's name, your name, will manifest. He make it your name to be what? So the spirit of the fear of God is the nature of God. Are we here? It's the character of God in your life. And when you put it on, you avoid everything that will defy God's name. I want to tell those of you that are still in habits. Habits of whatever it may be. Maybe habits of immoralities, fornication, adultery, habits of, of drinking, habits of smoking. Whatever habit it is, whatever makes you unworthy before God, please drop it. You might not have too many times. Drop it before it gets too late. God wants to promote you. God wants to take you up. God wants to bring you to a place of glory and a place of honor. Do I have a witness in the house? You are not, you are not responding stronger. If you are too sure of yourself, can I hear you shout amen? Praise God. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Uh, is the screen working? Isaiah 11 and verse 2. Everything will work for you this year. Come on, can I hear someone shout? Everything will work for me this year. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Okay, look at it there. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and mind, the spirit of knowledge, and what's the last one? The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. The spirit God is a spirit, but every nature of God is revealed by a component of a spirit. Study it in Job 28. I think Job 28, 28. Are you see there? And unto man he said, Can I hear? Somebody accompany me and read together. Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is what? Please read it together if you are bold there. Yeah? One to God. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord. So when you don't have the spirit of fear of God, what does God call you? Foolish. <laughs> it's well explained. When you fear God, God sees you as wise child. Wise child. Somebody have just abused you. Say me. If you abuse me when I abuse you ten. Who are you? Foolish. That man that is talking with you might be going to one altar. His own law permits him to do anything. You, your own law say, I will fight for you. Keep quiet and watch me handle them. 
praise God. Because this year, people might just think they have an advantage over your life and they're just manifesting their nature and their wisdom. They will just faint and fall. Nobody will say that you kill them. Ananias and Sephiroth did not fear God. That was why they came into the house of God to lie. They have money they want to give to God. But they connive to do, to do it in their own way. And right inside the church, they died. If they were wise, they would have explained to the man of God. You know, say, I get this project, I get this project, I get this thing. Uh, so, now this one with it too. There's nothing God can do about it. Come on, are we here? God doesn't like pretense. God doesn't like carnality. Respect God's word. Wives, respect God's word for your husband. And you will go well. Husband, love your wife. Are we here? I know that your wife is a woman. Sometimes when they act like a woman, you start asking questions. What did happen? Praise God. Somebody was asking me two days ago. I said, our mothers sometimes hardly grow up. They act like women. And the Bible says, do well with them according to knowledge. According to what? Humanly, you can be provoked, but you will remember. And you just calm down. When two people say, now today be today. Marriage will end though. Home will come to an end. Praise God. So we have just to understand that it takes the fear of God to dwell in marriage. It takes the fear of God to walk and manage difficult customers. Somebody was giving me a price of something last week. He gave me, he took it so high. I also decided to come so low. And they say, ah, do you know what you are pricing? I said, do you know what you are giving me the price for? Praise God. Because I have prices somewhere. So I have made up, made up my mind, but I, need, I just needed an alternative. And it came down drastically. Fear of God is not to take advantage of your customers. Don't say your market, make I just sell. I don't hit. If you hit today, eat today. You close the chapter tomorrow. You are in a common market. Are we here? It's something that should be above 2,000. It's sold for 10,000. And the person goes out to see it, the same thing, the same brand, 10,000. If he returns to you, he will ask you to give him his money. Praise God. And that will be the last time you will see the person. So traders and businessmen in this house, sell your market with the fear of the Lord. You can't respond to this. Did you hear me? Check about it. I got bought something for you, 2000. I went to the next place, they said it's 2005. Will I not come back to you? Are we here? Will I not tell people about you? So, people that are poor are poor because they lack the fear of the Lord. Instead of not making my maximum profit, let me make small, small profit all the time. And let me be steady all the time. And let me be moving all the time. Come on, are we here? Come on, tell your neighbor, behold the fear of God. That is wisdom. Okay? I think it's good I'm talking to you like this. Some of you will become millionaire this year. I told you that my father told me, if you cannot add to my name, don't take anything out of it. Keep my name. Listen. If you cannot increase, don't let anything reduce you. Are we here? Alright, I think that's enough. So if you are not, if you don't have the fear of God, what happened to you? You are foolish. That's what they call strategy. Strategy is taking your competitive advantage, if you like, call it big grammar today, is taking competitive advantage 
you are in a competitive market everybody is selling almost the same thing everybody is in the market to sell come on are we here what advantage do you have the advantage you have is that they may come to you first come on are we here the advantage is that you have an idea of what others are selling so you take advantage in a manner that whosoever enters your shop even if you go he will return back you are not responding well Praise God. Are we, are we here? Come to a label where you are not making laws and you are not, you know, over making it. But you are steady and moving. That's very strategic. Praise God. Number two, the love of God. Somebody say the love of God. Shout it. My, um, John chapter 14 and verse 15. John 14 and 15. Look at what it says there. John New Testament. Everybody, can we read it together? Can I hear your voice like an army? Simple. L L O V E. Love. If you love me, keep my commandment. If you love me, obey my law. If you love me, respect me. Honor me. You can't go far with God if you don't love God. Are we here? And the truth is that if you don't love God, you can't love human being. No human being in every ten people you see, less than, let me say, two and a half is normal. So ask me how many people are normal in this church. We will not know grace is covering everybody here let us leave here now get to the bus before bus stop you will know those that are normal their first encounter with the conductor you will know are we here in fact go to the store there to buy something you will know oh we've done the research some of i hear some people say my christianity is not stupidity and i say to them until your Christianity becomes stupidity, you will not prove it. Are we here? You, you can't fight for yourself and expect God to fight for you. Exodus 14, verse 14. What does it say? I will fight for you. You hold your peace. Why is the church not learning to hold your peace? To hold your peace is the love of God. The Bible said in Romans 12, if your enemy is hungry, what will you do? Thank God you know it. But how many of you here can feed your enemies? Less than one in ten. Enemy you know that almost dig a piece for you like they did for Joseph. Okay, the brother said, look at him coming. What was he coming to do? He was coming to give them food. And they saw him coming. And they said, look at him. The dreamer is coming. Let us cast him into the pit. Let us kill him. Let us see how, how he will fulfill his dream. And they go there. They took his food. He brought. They ate the food. And they carried him and they put him into the pit. In that pit was wilderness. There was snake. Until Reuben came and said, let us not kill our brother. Let us leave him. But let us sell him. Praise God. That was the sin against Joseph. And that was what they remembered. And they came to Joseph when their father died. Will you forgive us? And the question I asked you before, if you were Joseph, will you forgive? 
And why did Joseph forgive? Joseph forgave them because Joseph was in the love of God. He knew that it was God that delivered him. Are we here? Are we here? You can get results from impossible corners. The, the problem is until your carnality dies and your spirit man resurrect, your voice cannot be known in heaven. I can never teach you what I don't practice. Over time, in my year as it is something, I can deceive you. If you love God, God will love you. God will take you far. It costs God nothing to defeat all your enemies for your sake. And God can perform any miracle to sustain you. In 2023, receive the spirit of the love of God in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Now the Bible said the love of God covers a multitude of errors. Second Corinthians 10. The love of God does not point to accusations. It covers a multitude of weaknesses. So the love of God is a covering. Are we here? Where some people tell you they think you are too rich. They didn't know it's just the love of God. The love of God is the revelation of the grace of God covering your life. The love of God is the mighty hand of God powering your life. The Bible said they were both naked, but they were not ashamed. The love of God is what keeps you from shame. You know your state and condition. If you have the love of God, you will love your spouse no matter the condition. You will love your husband no matter the condition. You will love your wife no matter the condition. You will love your job no matter the distance. And of course you will love your church. And then you will love your pastor. Praise God. The last one is the spirit of faith. Thomas said the spirit of faith. Did I hear you? The spirit of faith. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9. First Corinthians 12 and verse 9. Somebody said, you don't have to pray for faith. That's not true. Faith is a spirit, so it's a gift of God. Just like love and the spirit of the fear of God. These are three, four gifts of God. So you can pray for them. Come on, are we here? First Corinthians 12. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in witnesses. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glorify in my infirmities that the power of Christ. Is that what I said? First Corinthians, you are giving me second Corinthians. First Corinthians 12 9. I will see, brethren. Praise God. To another, faith by the same spirit. To another, what? The gift of healing by the same spirit. You see, the love of God is the foundation for the giftings of God. When you have the love of God, you will believe in spite of your circumstances. On the possibilities and reality of God. Are we here? And that God is able to do what he will do. So. God gives gifts of faith. For miracles. Miracles are performed by faith. By faith. And I know that by faith. The little in your hand today. Can become a billion. Are we here? Because when you, when you look at things with the eyes of faith, you upgrade their values. Praise God. Now, if you have faith that God is in heaven and you're on the earth, and you talk, God can hear, and God can perform what you say, then of course you have the spirit of faith in you. 
when you see a mountain that is bigger than you and you say you mountain i don't know how you came here i don't know how long you've been here i don't know how many people you've hindered here but my case will be different the bible tells me in isaiah chapter 40 that the valley shall be leveled up the mountain shall be filled up i mean the valley shall be filled up the mountain shall be leveled up and the crooked path shall be made straight so i am going straight the bible said that they that wait, wait upon the lord shall what shall renew their strength and the bible said they shall they shall run and they shall not be weary they shall walk and they shall not be tired come on over here so when you treat the word of god like the word of god it produces the spirit of god in them and this year as you move you wake up in the morning you look at your port everything is looking dry you speak the word of faith by the spirit of 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 faith i call the thing that be not as though they were where my miracle and sustenance is today i call your thoughts come on i hear don't be surprised to see your phone ring and don't be surprised to see a lot dropping because you have spoken in faith but if you see your poor dry say this kind of life when i come save are we here you've already been defeated and the pot will remain more dry come on are we here so you speak you are sources of income if your husband is the one coming speak to his lie if your wife is the one coming don't envy her what a man can do a woman can do god bless my wife let her return with testimony come on over here if my wife have money now i will become very proud if you become proud let her become proud for you praise god give god prayer for your wife god prosper my wife are we here you think god is a joker god is not a joker when god blesses your wife through your prayer your wife will know he will come and his behavior will be different because anything that god does comes with the humility of god praise god this year you will see miracles i didn't hear him I will stop because the time is spent. I will stop. But I want you to believe God for the best gift. What are the gifts? The spirit of the fear of God. The love of God. Love human being. Listen, listen. Don't expect anyone to love you when you don't love anyone. Are we here? love is a seed when you sow it it grows harvest love people the way they are you are not their creator don't try to change them above the level of grace love them pray for them and allow god to come into them and change them our church will grow our homes will grow everything around us will change come on over here receive the spirit of the fear of god upon your life in the name of jesus can i hear someone i receive it in jesus name the love of god covers multitude of errors the love of god is a covering are we here god doesn't allow human being to treat you the way you know something happened i was managing something with my brother and all i just i just told my wife i said god just came into this thing when god comes into your life everything that looks small will become big are we here i was looking at my size i was looking at what i want to do i was looking at how small it is i wake up and i came back home one day and i told my wife this is what i'm going to do he said how I said the lord had just told me what to do because the big god is a specialist in doing big things stop looking at yourself as you know i am just unfortunate by grace there's nothing like unfortunate can i hear someone all things are possible to him that believes can i hear someone say i am a believer i am in the love of god because i'm in the love of god all things are possible for me the kind of breakthrough i never had in my life 
in 2023 i am gonna have it i'll speak it the more you speak it the more you become it praise god Hallelujah. are we here i went to the u.s last year I, it was not in my plan because they were not giving visa and there's no appointment i was on my way to mission doing what god wants me to do at the airport my phone rang where are you i'm on my way to uganda it's okay when you come from uganda see me i came back from uganda i went there he said what of your visa i said i don't have he said where's your passport i said i have the data page he said bring it two weeks later they called me come for your visa how it was paid what happened it was a drop off praise god because i am on my way to my assignment i was talking to pastors last week we pastors can't come to church once in a week it's not possible let's stay on our assignment god may not give us the dollar and money but if we do what he asks us to do he knows what we do are we here when god starts you all by grace it will turn out to be the best that trip was the best trip i ever attended come on are we here in 2023 by supernatural engagement you will go to places no one has ever gone to in your family you will do what no man has ever done in your generation the things that are impossible around you shall become possible the mighty power of god shall rise up for your family someone shall i am in the love of god i shall manipulate the miracle powers of god I shall enjoy the healing powers of God in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet. Faith calling the thing that be not as though they were. Is that not what, what the Bible says? Faith do what? Those of you who are single, who have no husband knocking on your door yet, if I were you, I will be rehearsing on my wedding day. Come and we here. Faith call it the thing that be not as though they were. Come on out here. I told a young man is of age. He's not married. And I asked him, why are you not married? He said, Apostle, you won't understand. I said, okay, on your wedding day, I will buy you this, the, I will buy you the coat. Praise God. He brought out his paper. Apostle say, we buy me coat on my wedding day. And somebody was with us. And the person said, and I will buy the shoe. And somebody said, so what are you waiting for? He said, no woman. I said, no woman. Should we fight? Praise God. Listen, until you take a move, God will move nobody. Come on now here. If you can put on the spirit of the fear of God, put on the love of God, put on faith, the right people will come come on out here because nobody wants to marry a problem that barrier shall be put down every barrier troubling your life the lord shall trouble everything in you and around you that looks like a trouble the lord shall bring it down all you may come out from that place how can you be rich where you are manifest yourself here if you be men all of you come this way come here occupy this three seats can you run even the one that wear naked conscience don't wear, wear naked conscience if you are worthy come and sit in the front The word of God is looking for where to enter. You are hiding. How can I be hiding and receiving the word of God? Let's know that you are here. Come and lift up your hands to heaven. And God said to the king, Joseph, Art, you shall not see wind. You shall not see rain. 
May the value of your assignment shall be filled with water. It's not about what you fear. It's not about what you know. It is about you are standing in the covenant. Today, as you stand in the covenant, I prophesy, you shall not see wind. You shall not see rain. But your life shall be full of blessings. In the name of Jesus. You shall not see wind. You shall not see rain. But your life shall be full of answers. Your life shall be full of connection. Your business shall be full of connection. Your destiny shall be full of connection. Your life shall be full of connection. In the name of Jesus. Everything that I've risen up because they lack the fear of God and they said the assignment is to bring you down. I prophesy, whatsoever God has not appointed no assign over that against you that are risen up to bring your destiny and your life down by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this way they shall go down for yourself. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Behold the fear. The spirit of the fear of God. That the immunity of the spirit. The courage. When God was talking to Joshua, he was saying to Joshua, be courageous and be very courageous. God is the one sending you. So God is packing you up. Everywhere you go, God is there. Where there's no road, God will push down the wall, the barriers. You remember that Paul and Silas were in the prison. Are we here? And nobody to help nor intervene. But because they were carrying God in the inside of them, God can only come to where he is. You can't carry God like Joseph. And God will not come to where you are. Every believer carrying the Holy Ghost is a, is a, is a mobile altar. Come on, are we here? When they try to attack you in the night, God in you will wake up. Say, I'm here. So what can you do here now? Praise God. They said, okay, we will kill you by accident. On the road, God will come like a mighty, terrible God. And he will show a sign. Listen to me today. By the mighty power of God, every area of your life that appear conclusive that nothing is going to work out by power of the spirit of the fear of god i declare that the lord shall manifest himself the lord shall manifest himself in the life of your children the lord shall manifest himself in your family the lord shall manifest himself if you are busy, the Lord shall manifest and sir. If you are held, the Lord shall manifest and sir. Somebody shout, Lord, manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. In my house, in my life, in my family. In the name of Jesus. I close. Lift up your hands. You know, Isaac remains my example. Isaac was going to go like every other person. Sometimes many of you will be in a good church where God is doing so many miracles. And you, will, you allow yourself to be walking up and down. And in the course of time, you walk out of God. You just see yourself walk out of God. You walk out of the covenant. And then you drop. God waits for you where you are waiting for him. Make inquiry from God before you take your emotional decisions. Isaac, ask God, everybody's moving, should I move? And God said, stay where you are and I will be with you. The only thing he needed to know is that God will be with him where he is. Face the altar. God will do what? 
God will be with you where you are. And the Bible says, and God said to him, I have a covenant with your father that has not expired. And the covenant has been willed to your life. So you will be better than your father. I know my father lived a good life. And I know he worked so hard. And I know he made a lot of sacrifice for my time to be where it is. So sometimes I remember his good works. And I said, Lord, by your grace, I will be greater than my father. Come on, are we here? You have to connect yourself to grace. And the Bible said, that same season, God made him, God inspired him to engage his hand. No rain, no dew, no wind, no river. But Isaac sold hard. He started, he became a, a you know, a, a, a poetry, you know, um, harder. And then he also has some investment on cash crops. In that same year, Isaac had a hundredfold. And the Bible says, suddenly the people around him saw that Isaac started making money. That is how your life will be. By March, they will see you counting money. Pastor Dr. Mary is not here. Why he was not working, I remember that if you give him one naira, he will take away the tight. He will keep it. Every Sunday will come out. It's not the quantity, it's the culture. The culture. And from there, he's, she finds favor before God to do what she's doing now. Have a culture. Lord, if you can bless me every week, I will appear before you every week. The Philippians saw that they began to make money in a dry time. And that they continued to make money in a dry time. And that they became wealthy. And the Bible said they envied him. If I am on to this morning for enviable prosperity. Or what I call dominion prosperity. It's a kind of prosperity that no demon or witch can take away from you. No matter how they fight it, they cannot do anything about it. Receive anointing of enviable prosperity. In the name of Jesus. I call it Isaac's anointed. Anointing that blesses you where God has appointed for you. In 2023, receive Isaac's anointed. Receive anointing for wealth, anointing for wealth, anointing for wealth. Your hand shall be engaged, your ability shall be engaged, your business shall prosper. Whatever you do shall prosper, and then where you go, you shall prosper. The Lord shall shine the face upon you in the name of Jesus. And finally, like a consumer consuming fire whatsoever is working against the will of god for your life attacking your health shall come under the attack of this altar receive the anointing of consuming fire of god upon your spirit upon your bone upon your body upon your heart upon your power Receive the oil, the power of the fire of God on your life. Let the Lord become a consuming fire upon your life. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're taking your time, but it's good. Lord. Dominion prosperity. Amen. I know that those of you that are having old naira, you are afraid to come and bring it in the altar. In fact, if you don't know how to take it to the bank, bring it, drop everything in the altar. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You have been so quiet today. 
Hallelujah. You see what I'm telling you? That I'm not this man is a finance man. He said that the dead life has been increased to 10 days. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Shut up, Coast. Manifest your power. Amen. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Omnipotent God. Manifest yourself. Omnipotent God. Manifest yourself today. Manifest your Manifest your power. Manifest your power. Manifest yourself today. Only put that God. Manifest yourself today. Manifest your power. 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 Only put that God. Manifest yourself today. Only put and God. Manifest yourself today. Feel this house with your presence. Feel my life with your spirit. Only put and God. Manifest yourself. Manifest your power, only put that God. Manifest yourself today. Manifest your power, manifest your power, only put that God. Manifest yourself today. Omnipotent God, manifest yourself today. But now what Barbara is turning things around. Oh no, what Barbara is turning things around. Yeah. Oh no, what Barbara is turning things around for my good. Start it to surround Everywhere I lose All I want but burn 
The answer to it all, Jesus. You wipe away all tears, ah, you mend the broken heart. You are the answer to it all, to it all, Jesus. Hey, we make a miracle, a promise keep light in the darkness. My God is who you are. Are you ready to sing in the Holy Ghost? Jesus, 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus, our Savior, Jesus, our leader, Jesus, our protector, Jesus. You are brooding over every darkness. Hey. You are seen. You are causing light, light to shine, shine from the Holy Ghost. You are brooding. You are brooding. You are brooding over every darkness. You are brooding, Jesus. You are causing light to shine from the darkness. You are brooding. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing. You are causing light to shine from darkness. We say, oh, 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 Light to shine from the darkness. You are brooding, you are brooding over every darkness. Yes, you are causing light to shine. You are light to shine from the darkness. Let your power flow in this place. Yes, your healing is here. Hey, in this place, we call for signs and wonders. Hey, in this place, let your presence show. In this, let your power flow. Let your power flow. Say in this place, let your healing come. Let your healing come. Holy, holy, holy ghost. In this place, call for signs and wonders. Call for signs and wonders. In this place, God. In this place, let your presence show. Let your presence show. In this place, call him anointing, anointing, anointing for me. I adore you, I depend, I depend on you. I banish my tongue, your covenant, your covenant is sure. Yes, you never change. We are
Vicha ya kiyo Chupati ga twasi Ongadiri epi zimale Epi zina Chuku no so Oki ibu so bugi Imana tia tikide Chere wande Wande mo Chite siyeite Vicha ya kile Chukati katwasi Okati wikimba Juku no so Okini buso muki Ima no tia tikide Wande mo Chide seike Vicha ya kile Chupati katwasi Okati wikimese Wande mo Chide seike Vicha ya kile Chupa di katwasi Oka di rikimba I know you've been hurt and you've lost that I know you've been broken, what is okay? I know you've been here, but I'm here Two men broken heart, don't believe God is here You'll be overcome today Wipe your tears and give him all the praise Give me Zina, Chuku no so Oki ibu so wugi I understand I have been here, I know you've been broken, what well, is okay? I love your real hearts, but I'm here to get the broken heart. Believe in him, you will overcome. Yesterday will be a story. I'm the God of all flesh. Nothing is too hard for you to do, yeah. Don't you believe? I understand. Don't you believe? I know you've been hurt, but I'm here. To mend a broken heart Believe in him, you will overcome Yesterday will be a story I'm the God of all flesh Not in this two hearts for you to do, yeah Don't you believe I can do see Don't you believe I is the dead Don't you believe I came to die Yet you may live and I forever Don't you believe 